Hey guys, this is Cemento Do 14, and here is a $5 projector that a friend of mine got from the flea market. It's a in focus brand. Um, it's a decent projector. It's not the best of the best, but um, it's pretty good for five bucks. Good deal. Um, it actually does work. I found a power cable for it. It did not come with one. It uses like the standard uh, computer plug in the back. Uh, you can see the buttons here, LCD, speakers. I'll show you guys that it works. Works well, besides the bulb, obviously. Just plug this in. So you can see that it lights up, glows there, and the little green light comes on. So here it is. Everything lights up, this is powering up and everything. But obviously there's no bulb, so it'll say like lamp didn't strike or whatever. It's gonna do a little countdown, but it's not gonna work. Yeah, lamp didn't strike, obviously. There's no lamp inside. So my plan, after reading up on some forums and things online, uh, is to open this up and disable the optocouplers, I believe they're called. And uh, that'll fool the main board into believing that there's a legit bulb inside. And once it thinks there's a legit bulb, you can put in essentially any bulb and it should work. Okay, so I've unscrewed the screws that I could. This one was badly stripped, um, so I was unable to unscrew it, so I had to melt through the plastic. A really bad way to do it, but that's all I have. I, don't, I, need, I really need to get a Dremel someday, which I will, but once it, until then, I had to melt. And uh, these edges are a little rough, but I'll uh, sand them up a little more later. <clears throat> so uh, for now, I've gotten the cover off here. There were two connections. There's the ribbon cable to here, which is for the panel in the front, and there was the infrared sensor, but I've unplugged that already, because that won't be necessary. So this is the insides of it. So this is the main board. Uh, these are the three LCDs. There's red, blue, and green, and those all combine using like a prism. I'm not sure. I think it's like here or something. I'm not really entirely sure how projectors work. Still in the learning process. Um, but the prism combines all three colors together and that's how you get the one color image out the uh, lens in the front there. And uh, it looks like it should be okay to hack. Um, I've already unplugged this. This is the connection. I found the connection. I looked it up online. Um, this is the ballast here. This outputs really high voltages, really dangerous. That's why I have it unplugged right now because obviously I do not want to electrocute myself. <clears throat> so I've unplugged this. This is the connection from the ballast to the motherboard, not the high power cables that carry very high voltages to the bulb. And by shorting one of these pins, I'm not sure yet, entirely sure yet which one, to ground, well not exactly shorting, it's bridging, um, I will be able to fool it into believing there's a bulb. So I need to check each of these pins, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've figured it out, um, it says lamp control obviously, um, it turned out being this pin right here. So later on, I will solder this line from here to ground. Uh, perhaps this one, this is also ground wire here. And I might just uh, splice it onto the ground cable later, and it'll believe there's a bulb. So the next step here is to remove this ballast, which is this whole chunk. There you go, now you can see it. So I'm just going to remove this whole black box right here. Good thing it's unplugged, so I'm safe. Just have to find the screws and uh, remove it. And there'll be much more space for the bulb too, which is good. Okay, so now the ballast is gone. Uh, you can see the plug here, plug here, used to connect to it. Uh, it doesn't matter, the projector should still work properly without the ballast. Um, I have not implemented the uh, connection to the ground yet, so it still will say that the bulb didn't strike, but it should still turn on. Uh, you can see here, this is the ballast. Pretty big here. Uh, give you a nasty shock. That's why they probably put in this thick plastic coating here. You can see the capacitor there and a few other dangy, nasty stuff. If you touch that, like the bare contacts, definitely get a nasty shock. Could even kill you, so glad I'm rid of this. So that's no longer in here. There's a lot more space for the bulb, which is really good. It'll allow for a bigger bulb, probably more lumens, which is important for projector. So that's good. So now I'm going to test it one more time, make sure it's working. Uh, let me just grab this, Yep, put the cover on, it's the only way to power it on, so I'm going to plug it in, 
just like that. Get that right. Yep. All right. Close it up for now. Just bounce that on there and plug it in. Oop. There we go. And you can see it's ready to go. So it's working perfectly. No ballast inside. All right, so now we just have to wait for the bulb and a few other supplies to arrive. And next month, uh, you will see me install the bulb. And hopefully it'll be working perfectly by then. And ready to project some movies and video games, whatever else. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos. And we'll see you guys next time.